What would you do if your car started hallucinating? With vehicles becoming more autonomous, radar hacking has become a major issue. Hello and welcome to All About Circuit Spotlight. Let's get ready to dive into this colossal radar challenge. But first, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's check what's under the spotlight. Have you experienced a split-second scare thinking a dark shape was a person? <laughs> Only to discover it's a harmless object? How scary would that be if your car hallucinated like that? Duke University researchers have developed Mad Radar, a black box system that attacks automotive radars without prior information. This technology has the capability to conceal the presence of an approaching vehicle, generate an illusionary car in the absence of a real one, or deceive the radar into believing a genuine car has abruptly changed its intended path. Researchers claim that MAD radar underscores the immediate need for manufacturers to enhance product security. Coming up, I'll tell you what you can do when your car hallucinates, but first, it's time for our featured product spotlight. Let's check it out. The EPCOS TDK ERUC 23 SMT flat wire coupled inductors offer high performance with low loss ferrite, high saturation currents, and low DC resistance. With a compact design and lead free 10 terminals, these inductors provide reduced ripple and improved energy in a small package. They are Rojas compatible and AEC Q200 qualified for automotive industry standards. Suitable for service mounting, they excel in applications like dual-phase buck, boost, and buck-boost converters, providing efficiency in various power supply configurations. Say your car is hallucinating, what do you do? The common advice is to stay alert to the potential of these attacks and actively devise defense strategies. So, in other words, you're on your own. But perhaps the best advice would be to disable the sensors until the industry resolves these critical issues and rediscover the joy of driving. To learn more about this story, head on over to allaboutcircuits.com and I'll see you next time.